get ready because it's time to sell some art. I'm going to be exhibiting in the Boca Raton Fine Art Show and I know I have a lot of new subscribers here so first of all thank you and welcome. My name is Evan Reinheimer and I'm an artist. I travel around the world using a kite to lift my camera into the sky and take unique aerial photographs. I exhibit and sell my artwork mostly through outdoor fine art festivals across the United States. My channel here is a mix of videos following my travels both to create and sell my artwork. So whether you're a new artist looking to get into doing art festivals, a seasoned art festival veteran, or just someone wanting to learn about what myself and other artists do, I'm glad you're here. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I'd really appreciate it if you did so. And today I'm going to take you through a typical weekend at an art festival from start to finish. that goes into exhibiting in an art festival that most people don't even realize. And of course, creating our art is really only the first step of that. So it all kind of starts six months ahead of the art festival when I apply to exhibit in the show. That in itself is a whole process that I'll cover in another video. Once accepted to exhibit, you'll get information about check-in and setup. And if you're lucky, setup is the day before the show opens, and if not, it's super early in the morning on the first day of the show. Sometimes you'll be able to pull right up to your spot, unload and set up, but more often than not, you're going to need to unload and then go park and come back to set up. Sometimes you'll have to dolly all your stuff from your vehicle to your booth space, so it's important to have a good dolly or cart. I have one like this, and it's a good all-purpose cart, so I'll put a link to that in the description of the video if you want to check this one out. Once I'm all set up, if set up was the day before the show, I'll head back to my hotel or back home if I'm lucky enough to be doing a show that's close to home, have a healthy meal and relax. A good night's sleep is really important for me because I get crabby when I'm tired and that can really impact my sales. So I want to set myself up as best I can to have a good show because it's time to sell some art. Selling at an art festival is of course the entire reason we exhibit in them. There's tons of different sales styles that differ from artist to artist. This is probably the most exhausting thing about an art festival because it involves being on my feet somewhere between 7 and 12 hours depending on the show, constantly engaging with people and sharing stories about my artwork with them. It's also the most rewarding part because I get to see the response to my artwork firsthand and in person. of the show, of course you have to pack up all your stuff and break down your display, and hopefully you'll be packing up a lot less artwork than you brought to the show because you'll have sold a bunch of it during the show. And again, if you're lucky, you'll be able to pull right up to your space and load right into your vehicle, but many times you're going to need to fully break down before you're able to bring your vehicle on site. If you'd like to learn more about designing a good looking art festival booth, here's an older video I made with some tips on how to improve your display. Mm -hmm. 